Had any of you heard of the Eldamir and Prince scam? No. 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 Tell us about the Eldamir and Prince Pr scam, Is it Darian. P R I N T S? No, no. P R I N C E. You see, a letter made its way into someone's mailbox. Hello. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. We met last year at the war, and you were quite kind to me. I was Prince of Eldamir, but I have been deposed, and need your assistance to regain my rightful place upon the throne. Would you be willing to accept delivery and hold on to a store of rattan until it can be picked up by my agent? All we need is your home address and prepayment to non-Canadian funds, for which my agent shall gratefully bring remuneration and a small gratuity in the gold coins of my reign. For your trouble, I would be willing to grant you great favors and status once I am crowned again. Perhaps, perhaps you would like to be a baron or baroness of my restored court, or Eldamirian postmaster, or I might be able to arrange free lifetime membership at the associate level. I have quite a few friends among the BOT, B-O-T-T. I very much look forward to your response in the affirmative, Knowing you for the chivalrous and noble example of kind yeah. gentility that you are, I sign Vinderbrocker Gelfigus. Now, that letter was sent to exactly one person. <laughs> oh no. Well, after a little bit, it had actually been sent to, again, Exactly, exactly and precisely one two people. Uh -oh. That was it. And that was all ever. Two people. Um, the second person was ever to kite. <laughs> who responded with I think this is a scam. That's all she could do. That was it. And then she got a reply. I would like to assure you, O oh mighty Lord, that I am most sincere, and you risk nothing. You would also have the undead gratitude of the Eldamirian people for helping and restoring the rightful R or W R I T E F U L L heir to the throne. Um, some little bit later. Somebody sent me a photograph of the screen of their computer showing a panic on Facebook. <laughs> Watch out! The Nigerian print scam has come to the SCA. <laughs> if you see a letter like this, don't respond. Call the bond and the president of the society. I looked at this and said, Dear Lord, A, hold my how did this get out to someone? Here, my, hold my B, repair. without them knowing it was a gag. C, with them suggesting that an email scam, um, you know, looking for someone to Hold on to a shipment of rattan to be repaid in the gold coins of my realm, eh? Was something to take to, well, any part of the society. Here in the U.S., for instance, there's the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. No one in the society, unless they happen to be an employee of the Federal Trade Commission or some other similar body, is going to do anything about spam sent to your mailbox. I, I wrote a letter then to John Bearkiller, who was the president of the society at the moment. So, Hi, John. Darian here. There's something I think you should know about before you have to know about it. Just want to give you the heads up. If, dear God, someone actually writes to you or calls you and terrible panic about the Eldamirian Prince scam. <laughs> Here's what's going on. <laughs> and 
it's a gag. It's clearly a gag. But somehow it got beyond the precisely one person <laughs> I've sent it to, other than the one other person I've sent it to, who I know knew it was a scam and funny and a joke and didn't send it on. Somehow it made its way to Facebook. Well, you know how that is, John. <laughs> if you live in our modern world at all. Yeah. Um, so. John Barrickiller, not John Edgino. Heads up, the chicken is nor the nuts. Uh, later, I, sh I shared this whole story with the uh, with my friends in Lockhock, because I've been joining their virtual verdicts for, for quite a while now. And Eowyn's response there... She turned around and immediately posted a response by the time I was done. Thank you for this. I am glad that you remember me so fondly. I'm not going to do the Australian accent, because I can't. I am always happy to help those in need, and your proposal sounds very promising, Your, your, your Highness. Um, I do not know if you are aware, but Australia has very strong quarantine requirements. And there will be a small fee required for quarantine inspection of the goods upon arrival. Before I can pay the whole fee, if you could kindly please deposit the 127 Australian dollars fee for the inspection to my PayPal account, number MCMIXXIIICMIIIVI, I will be happy to then forward the prepayment to you. I wish you all the best in your quest to regain what is rightfully yours, your friend. <laughs> um, and years later, that is, June 4th, 2022, Sigrid Broombach, or his phone dictation results would have it, Cigarette Boombox, <laughs> suggests fully or semi-automatic rattan for the revolution. 